June 15th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 64 and 65 from the Old Testament. Listen to me, O God, as I offer my lament. Protect my life from the enemy's terrifying attacks. Hide me from the plots of evil men from the crowd of evildoers. They sharpen their tongues like a sword. They aim their arrow, a slanderous charge in order to shoot down the innocent in secluded places. They shoot at him suddenly and are unafraid of retaliation. They encourage one another to carry out their evil deed. They plan how to hide snares and boast who will see them. They devise unjust schemes. They disguise a well-conceived plot. Man's inner thoughts cannot be discovered. But God will shoot at them. Suddenly they will be wounded by an arrow. Their slander will bring about their demise. All who see them will shudder, and all people will fear. They will proclaim what God has done and reflect on his deeds. The godly will rejoice in the Lord and take shelter in him. All the morally upright will boast. Praise awaits you, O God, in Zion. Vows made to you are fulfilled. You hear prayers. All people approach you. Our records of sins overwhelms me, but you forgive our acts of rebellion. How blessed is the one whom you choose and allow to live in your palace courts. May we be satisfied with the good things of your house, your holy palace. You answer our prayers by performing awesome acts of deliverance. O oh God, our Savior, all the ends of the earth trust in you as well as those living across the wide seas. You created the mountains by your power and demonstrated your strength. You calmed the raging seas and their roaring waves, as well as the commotion made by the nations. Even those living in the most remote areas are awestruck by your acts. You cause those living in the east and west to praise you. You visit the earth and give it rain. You make it rich and fertile. With overflowing streams full of water, you provide grain for them for you prepare the earth to yield its crops. You saturate its furrows and soak its plowed ground. With rain showers you soften its soil and make its crops grow. You crown the year with your good blessings, and you leave abundance in your wake. The pastures in the wilderness glisten with moisture, and the hills are clothed with joy. The meadows are clothed with sheep, and the valleys are covered with grain. They shout joyfully, yes, they sing. God, this last psalm is a praise for the, the crop, for the rain that is going to ensure this new crop that's coming. And God, I so often get caught up in the rain part <laughs> of my life and I forget that the rain part is what produces the crops that allows them to grow. And for that, I'm, I'm very sorry. And I apologize. I apologize for being so short-sighted that all I can see are the events immediately surrounding me that, that seem to be stopping me from where I'm going or what I want to obtain or what I want to do or perhaps grow. All I can see is the rain and the frustration and the mud puddles <laughs> that are in my way. And here these people are just being so grateful and appreciative of the rain, knowing that it's going to yield the crops that are necessary for their survival. Which means that the water is vital for their survival. Which means the rain in my life is vital to me growing as a person as well as a Christian. So God, allow me to stop when it's raining in my life. When nothing seems to be going right, when people are frustrating with frustrating me, when things are breaking around me like websites, when it just seems like I, I can't even take one step forward without 15 steps backwards. God, when it rains in my life, help my heart to always find the joy in that, to always find the abundance of blessings that you give us in that rain. You are intentional. There is always a point for the rain in our life. And maybe sometimes it's just to stomp through the mud puddles 
and not take things so seriously. And sometimes that rain needs it to be there so that we can grow, albeit a little bit painfully, especially lately, but so that we can grow. We need all of that. And we definitely need you. So yes, just like the psalmist says, they shout joyfully, yes, they sing. The next time it rains in my life, I will remember to sing joyfully to you, to lift up my voice with thanksgiving and praise for all the blessings you've given me. And yes, even through the pain and even through the hurt and even through the frustration, all of those you have always turned into blessings. You've always turned them into great harvest. God, thank you for the rain in my life. Thank you for the abundance of rain lately <laughs> in my life. And thank you for allowing me to see it for what it really is. Not something to frustrate me or cause me to just break down in tears. But instead for something to be excited about and to give you worship and praise about and to be most of all joyful about thank you for my rain god in your son's name i pray amen <laughs>